young startups they could be is um, maybe they sometimes too confident on their on their products on their offerings. Uh, they may not look deep enough it's like they always think okay i don't have any competitors or my competitor or, or, or it's only these two i say no it's there's a lot of substitute products you that can compete with you i mean it's like uh, like it's it's like if you if you uh, uh winter time right you could buy a down jacket or you can buy a wool coat right so wool coat it's your competitor competitor right or you can get a uh, uh like a, uh those uh ski ski jacket like those three layers ski jackets. so you have a, lo a lot of different options out there it's not just down jacket you don't just compete yeah. with your down jacket brands you compete with the brands do well on wool coat as well so i think that's that's one thing sometimes uh we're co too confident on on the on the on our products and and so on it's um and uh i think i think i think the main thing is just we got to we got to keep on growing keep on learning like mm -hmm. uh i have engineering degree i have a business degree so i i, I like to look at things to learn uh things from a fundamentally from a engineering point of view and also, also look at it, things at a at a business point of view so I, I like I like to look at things like that, and I think sometimes uh, young entrepreneurs think, like, "Oh, my my background was design, so okay, I can just find a co-founder that does chemistry or something to help." I think as as a founder, you've got to be if you are doing, let's just say, like if you are if if you are a startup doing a hammer, making a hammer. Like like books, right? They always talk about like widgets. Like let's use a hammer as a as an example. If I'm an entrepreneur of uh, producing hammer, then I definitely need to know uh, uh, like the business side of it, right? And also the material side of it. Not don't just think that you're a founder. You can just say, oh, I don't really need to know that uh, the material for making a hammer. That that's the factory's job, or that's my my uh, the chemist or metallurgist's uh, this job. As a founder, you gotta know. You, without knowing, you don't. You cannot see the whole picture. You cannot connect the dots. A lot of uh, young, I think, young uh, uh, startup founder are, 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 I think, a, a, a bit like that. So, you you just have to be well rounded. You you you're able to you, you have to be like a triathlon. You cannot just yeah. just say I focus on one thing. You have to learn enough of th all the facets that about your product or your service that whatever you're building to have enough knowledge to make a uh, smart business decision i mean if you don't know enough you don't even know how to hire that person right yeah. so i think that's that's one big thing so when i see some uh, founder that they are really like learning about a product that they're building even on the material side, on the chemistry level, and so on. I think that's that's great. It means that uh, they they are they're getting a they're looking at things at a very big picture, not just a narrow view. Yeah. They have a very holistic view of the thing, so they can connect all the dots and make a stronger business uh, decision, better decision. Yeah. Yeah. 